Hey guys, Michael Sellings here. Just want to give you a little perspective on uh, interest rates. In 2019, end of the year, right before the pandemic hit, a lot of people, the 30 year rate touched almost 4.75. And a lot of people were saying, you know what? Uh, I'm going to wait for rates to go down. If I wait for rates to go down, the house will be more affordable and you know, I can buy more house. So fast forward eight months and guess what? Interest rates went down. It was awesome. Rates went down to the low threes. Guess what else happened? Home prices went way up. Guess what else happened? You couldn't even get a house because the uh, demand for houses were so strong. So remember that all the things don't go together. Uh, so buying the house is the most important piece. The rate is irrelevant if you don't have the house. Uh, but remember that rates aren't forever. So if you lock in at 6%, and you're like, man, this is the highest rate I've ever heard of, even though there's been a lot higher rates. It's not the end of the world because most of the people that locked in in the 4.75 range and they bought a $250,000 house instead of a $325,000 house, then refinanced to 2.75. And guess what? The amount they owed on their house remained pretty much the same, but the value of their house went way up. So owning the house is the most important part of it. So hope that helps you. Talk to you soon.